Hi, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Radio Workshop. I'm doing this video in two parts because it'll be too long otherwise. So this first part is about superhet radios, basically how they work. We want to go on to IF alignment, but I don't feel that's a good idea to start talking about adjusting IF transformers until it's fully understood or, or at least grasped uh, what the IF stage or stages are for, uh, why we change the frequency of the incoming station. So, okay, basically a signal comes down your aerial and that goes into the first valve in your radio which is called the mixer or frequency changer. Now there are two valves two in that one valve envelope, mixer and oscillator. So your radio station signal comes down the aerial into the mixer. Well say you're listening on, for argument's sake, 3 megahertz to this radio station, whatever it is. Now your oscillator, the local oscillator in the radio, you tune your tuning knob and the dial reads 3 megahertz. In fact, the local oscillator is actually running at 2 megahertz. Now, OK, that sounds odd. What we're trying to do is produce a third frequency. We've got 3 megs coming in. That's the radio station you're listening to. We are going to mix that with our local oscillator signal, which is on 2 megs. What is the difference between the two? 3 megs, 2 megs. It's 1 meg. That is the difference. That 1 meg comes out of the mixer and that is our IF or intermediate frequency. It's still the radio station, it's still uh, an RF signal, it's amplitude modulated, it's still our radio station. Effectively all we've done is change the frequency of the radio station that's coming in down the aerial uh, from 3 megs to 1 meg. And the way we do that is mix the 3 meg signal with our 2 meg signal from our oscillator the difference is 1 meg. Um, once you grasp that, the, the rest of it, that, that is it, that is how a superhead works, the rest of it is pretty basic. So let, let's take another example. We tune our dial on the radio, you turn the knob, tune the dial to 5 megahertz and you're listening to a radio station there. The oscillator is actually running that's the local oscillator when you tune the knob, the vanes meshing inside on the tuning gang. That oscillator is running at 4 megs. So your radio station is coming into the mixer on 5 megs. Your oscillator is injecting its signal into the mixer at 4 megs. The difference, take one away from the other, is 1 meg. So your IF frequency will always be 1 meg. It doesn't matter where you tune to on the dial, it's always 1 meg. Um, right, why do we do this? It's easier to design an amplifier to amplify one constant frequency. When dealing with one single frequency, it's a lot easier to amplify it. And uh, if you look at the response curve on an oscilloscope, you'll see a curve like that. That is our, our one meg frequency, okay? Um, it's easier to shape that response curve by making adjustments and alterations to the amplifier. Uh, it, basically, it's just a lot easier to deal with a single frequency, and that is the intermediate frequency, the IF. Now, in actual fact, um, we've chosen simple figures to get a 1 meg IF. In actual fact, uh, common IF frequencies are 455 kilohertz, 465, 470, 475, all these IF frequencies, um, doesn't matter too much what they are, but they're all in a, a window, if you like, between the medium wave band and the long wave band. Okay, so the reason that we've chosen for, for our particular radio, 470 kilohertz, is because there's nothing there between long wave and medium wave there's this little bit of the spectrum that is left empty purely because they are chosen as IF frequencies. So what you don't want is a strong local radio station transmitting on 
say 470 kcs which is our IF frequency because what would happen is that strong signal would come down the aerial straight through the mixer valve regardless of whatever else is going on straight into the IF amplifier 470 kc strong station straight into our 470 kc IF amplifier and it would blast out of the speakers and it wouldn't matter where you tuned your dial to it wouldn't matter where, where you tuned to you will always be hearing that one radio station uh, and obviously we don't want that so basically IF frequencies are chosen between the long and the medium wave band I'm only talking about vintage radios here such as this Bush DAC 10 okay they're, they're chosen because that is between long and medium wave and there's nothing else there's no broadcast stations there no strong signals there at all or shouldn't be at least I just want to go now on to the IF stage we've got our 470 kc or kilohertz um, signal coming into the IF amplifier obviously the IF stage amplifies that signal it's still pretty weak um, but it, so it does need amplifying now you may have heard about bandwidth someone may say that that radio is bandwidth uh, is as wide as a barn door what that means is the IF stage this is our 470 kilohertz signal that's all we're talking about now so our radio station is on that frequency okay we could, because we've changed it now we can shape the response curve of that signal in the middle is the 470 kcs then either side I won't go into this too much but there are the side bands which is the audio the music the speech okay so we want to shape that curve so we get a good response and we can hear all the audio properly now one way to look at this is if the IF frequency is is very wide okay look, take our tuning dial normally have a pointer in our case we're going to have two pointers for a minute and what we're going to say is between the two needles that move in unison like that between the two needles this is our bandwidth we can listen to radio stations so it's our listening window if you like the bandwidth so we tune along here and there's a radio station pops up in the middle okay so we tune these so it's in the middle what happens if our bandwidth is even wider so we go along here and we get two radio stations in the middle of our listening window the bandwidth is so wide we've got two in there what happens is we can hear both of them at the same time so obviously you don't want the bandwidth too wide now the bandwidth is determined as I've said by the IF amplifier so we want the amplifier to be fairly narrow so our listening window when we move along the dial with our two pointers we'll only hear one station at a time we don't want it too wide on the other extreme if it's too narrow if it's very very narrow you can tune into one radio station the radio station on the dial will actually be wider than our listening window and what that the effect of that is very narrow bandwidth the radio station will sound like the very old-fashioned telephones used to with the carbon microphones very limited frequency response you might just about hear speech properly but music forget it so the bandwidth wants to be correct 